Hello and welcome to my first video of many to come for Halloween and yeah that's all I can really say about it so this is the first look that I decided to do and I think this is the one I'm gonna go with for my actual Halloween costume and I took inspiration from the super blood moon that just happened and yeah so I'm like a blood moon guardian fairy type of a deal so if you want to learn how to get this look then watch the tutorial first I will be applying a primer to my eyes then going in with a red face paint I will be placing this all over my lid taking a red eyeshadow, the one I'm using is from Manic Panic. I'm using this to set the paint in place and to also diffuse the paint and sort of smoke it out. Then taking the black from that same palette or whatever black you have, just take them and put it in the crease of your eye and smoke that out as well. highlighting my brow bone using white chocolate from the chocolate bar palette. Then taking an eyeliner, you can use which, whichever one you like. I'm using a liquid liner pen from e.l.f. and I'm just creating a thin winged eyeliner shape. Here comes the part in which I cannot really explain, so I'm just going to have the video do the explaining for me. So watch carefully and draw out the designs, or you can do whatever other designs you want and sort of make it look like a marking. shadow I'm going in and filling in each of the opening markings I don't know what you want to call them but I'm gonna fill in each of those parts the middle one will be full and then as you go out to the outer edges you will start decreasing by like around a third give or take just leave the other places empty for now we will be filling that in in a little bit This is to sort of represent the different phases of the blood moon as it starts to appear in the sky. In 
Mother fading away, but to use the Becca Sherman Skin Perfector in Moonstone to highlight the inner corners and fill in the rest of the spaces around the markings. Like, that was just meant to be. It was meant to be Moonstone and Blood Moon. So yeah, just fill it in in the empty spaces to sort of make it glow as the moon does in the night sky. Now, where the marking is touching the lower lashes, only fill in the, the waterline with an eyeliner of your choice to make it seem seamlessly to go in there. Now I'm going to be curling my lashes, applying some mascara, and putting on some false eyelashes, and these are the ones that I'm using today. You can use whatever one you like. And for the lips, I'm going in with a red lipstick. This one is from NYX. To give it more of like a gradient fade between red and black, as you can see how this look is basically based around, I'm taking some of that bl same black eyeshadow that I used for the crease and just patting it on the outer corners of my lips and sort of just feathering it in to the center. But keep the red focused in the center mostly. The black focus on the out and yeah. This is the look. I hope you enjoy. You can change it to whatever your heart desires. And yeah, hope y'all enjoyed and wait for my next look. All right, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I can't wait to see you for the next look. That's all I have to say because I have more coming out. So until next time, I love you all and I can't wait for Halloween to come. Bye-bye. <laughs>